there. This is Jillery Hoops, and I'm going to teach you how to do the reverse three beat leave. I'm going to try to include some slow motion so that you can see what's happening with my hands. Um, I want to start off with one hoop and describe the difference between a forward weave and a reverse weave. Obviously, they go a different direction. If the hoop is in wheel plane at your side and you spin it forward, in order to take do it a weave, you're going to push it further forward and come to the opposite side of your body. And you'll notice your thumb is leading here. So you're going forward. The reverse weave, obviously you spin the hoop backwards in wheel plane and you lead with your pinky and come to the other side of your body. So that's the big difference. Now with a forward three beat weave, when your hand is on top, the thumb spin occurs to get you to the bottom and back. In a reverse three beat weave, the hoop that's on the bottom does the thumb spin. So that's sort of the main difference. Um, if you can do a forward two beat weave, you'll want to practice the reverse two beat weave. You'll notice one arm stays on top. Once you add in that third beat, the hoop that's on the bottom is going to do the thumb spin. So that's here. So, that is my description of the reverse three beat weave. Again, when your hoop is coming up from the bottom, you're going to three beat around the other hoop. All right? Hopefully that makes sense, and hopefully that helps somebody out there on the interwebs. Oh!